Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Bell Vega. I'm thrilled to have you here today, because we're diving into the classic game of Tetris that I've developed using Python and Pygame. We're currently at 120 subscribers, and I want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of you for your support. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss out on any of my tutorials and projects. Your support helps me continue to bring you awesome content, and I appreciate it more than you know. In this video, I'll take you through every step of the process, from coding the logic to designing the game interface. Whether you're a coding enthusiast, a gaming fanatic, or just looking to learn something new, you're in the right place. Stick around till the end of the video, because I've got some pro tips to help you become a Tetris master. So, grab your keyboards, get comfortable, and let's jump right into the world of Tetris. Let's get started. First, let's create our project file. Open your favorite code editor, and create a new file named tetris.py. Alright, let's set up our project file. Open Visual Studio Code, which is the code editor we're using for this project. In Visual Studio Code, go to the File menu and select New File. Now, save this new file with the name tetris.py. This file is where we'll write all our code for the Tetris game. To do this, click on File, then Save As, and enter tetris.py as the file name. Make sure it's saved in a directory where you want to keep your project files. And that's it for setting up our project file. We're all set to start coding our Tetris game. We'll be using Pygame, a set of Python modules designed for writing video games. You can install Pygame using pip. Open your terminal or command prompt and type pip install Pygame. In tetris.py, the first step is to import the necessary libraries. We'll start with Pygame and some other essential modules. Next, we'll define some constants for our game, such as screen dimensions, block sizes, and colors. Defining constants at the beginning of your code makes it easier to manage and adjust settings later on. This practice helps keep your code clean and maintainable. This constant sets the width of the game screen to 300 pixels. In a Tetris game, the screen width typically needs to be a multiple of the block size for the tetrominoes to fit perfectly within the grid without any gaps. A width of 300 pixels means that the screen can fit 10 blocks horizontally if each block is 30 pixels wide, 300 divided by 30 is equal to 10. Certainly. Let's break down the game underscore Tetris class and understand each part of the code. Class game underscore Tetris is a class definition for the Tetris game. It encapsulates all the attributes and methods needed to manage the game state and behavior. The underscore underscore init underscore underscore method is the initializer for the class. It sets up the game when an instance of game underscore Tetris is created. Self dot next underscore tetromino equals self dot new underscore tetromino. Calls the new underscore tetromino method to generate the next tetromino that will appear after the current one. Self dot x self dot y equals board underscore width forward slash forward slash two zero. Initializes the position of the current tetromino. Self.x is set to the middle of the board's width, and self.y is set to zero, which is the top of the board.
coding tip. Implementing rotation for tetrominoes can be tricky. Make sure to test each rotation thoroughly to ensure they align correctly within the game grid. Implementing collision detection. Now, we'll implement collision detection to prevent tetrominoes from moving out of bounds or overlapping with each other. This will involve checking the tetrominoes position against the game grid. Collision detection is critical for game mechanics. Take your time to get it right, as it affects the core gameplay experience. Sure, let's break down how the levels and score are implemented in your Tetris game code. Self.score keeps track of the player's score. Self.level keeps track of the current game level. Self.line underscore clear tracks the number of lines cleared during the game. Drawing the score and level. The draw underscore txt method is used to display text on the screen. It's used within the run method to display the current score and level. And there you have it. A complete Tetris game built from scratch using Python. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more awesome tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.